Pedagogy of Physical Science B8 syllabus in the second semester. The question is discuss about impact of science and technology on modern living. The uses of technology which we see in communication, securing data, work, manufacturing, home, learning, transportation. Let us first see the meaning of science and technology. Science means knowledge. Galileo Galilei is synonymous of science. Technology means the application of science. The first scientific tool was spheres and needles. Advancement in every sphere of our lives is the effect of science and technology. Without science and technology, we would still be living in the stone age. We avail several benefits provided to us by science and technology. It has provided us with a comfortable lifestyle. At the same time, it makes our lives very mechanical. Despite some disadvantages of science and technology, the human race is highly dependent on them for survival. In present global situation, numerous powerful technologies have been developed to assist people in households and offices. Faster communication is made possible through mobile phones and the internet. New technology impacts our daily lives in every field from the cars, cell phones, computers and networks and power. In fact, humans have always been greatly affected with the developments in new technology. However, today new information technology is slightly complex with cloud computing new methods of security and data encryption. It is a prevailing fact that new information technology not only benefits programmers, database managers, hardware engineers and network analysts, but it also benefits the common user. New information technology was developed in 1940s and 1950s for the better working of military and universities. Let us see in the agricultural sector. Developments taking place in science resulted in mechanization of agriculture and farming sector. Various advanced, advanced tools are being invented as a result of scientific development which are used by farmers. New techniques of farming have also been developed as a result of scientific development which helped in increasing farm output to tremendous extent. In lack of information, farmers had to suffer a tremendous loss when their farms or outputs were being eaten by insects. But now proper information is being provided to farmers as to how they can save or protect their farms and how by making use of biofertilizers and biopesticides can save their farms from being eaten by insects and pesticides. Next we shall see in industrial sector. From the discoveries of science, a drastic change has taken place in the ways and processes used in various industries. As known that earlier primitive kind of equipments were being used in various industries as a result of which large number of manpower was required to produce limited output. But now as a result of science and technology, Various complex machines have been discovered by using maximum output which can be gained with minimum of manpower. Thus, today different functions in industrial processes are being performed by machines and there is requirement of human beings just to operate such machines. As a result of development taking place in science, various industries have been revolutionized. In the next we shall go in medicinal sector. It is evident that earlier a large number of people lose their lives by various diseases which were considered to be incurable since no medicine or treatment was being invented by physicians earlier. But today, as a result of various studies and experiments conducted on living creatures, medicine and treatment therapies of various diseases have been invented. Various kinds of preventive techniques such as vaccination, inoculation, surgery have prevented the human beings from various contagious diseases. Various equipment and apparatuses have been developed by scientists 
and experts in order to diagnose and prevent the diseases. Another important development is in the field of hygiene and sanitation. Let's see in the next educational sector. E-books have replaced physical books. Nowadays, learners do not have to move around with a backpack full of textbooks. This is because pupils have the option of assessing their textbooks on e-books. Therefore, they can carry thousands of books in their handheld device. Learners can now get updated textbooks. Elimination of the chalkboard. Nowadays, smart boards have replaced chalkboards in the classroom. This has helped to enhance the experience for both teachers and pupils. Instructors are now using slideshows, showing videos and engaging the entire classroom at the touch of a button. Next we have is civilization. As a result of development, a large number of people have freed themselves from the clutches of superstitions rate of illiteracy has been declined a positive change has taken place in the attitude manner in which human beings live their life and outlook to receive new ideas on the whole if we see or summarize science and technology's major threats of global society to live in enhanced way Technological advancements have shown a substantial growth concern with each and every field, whether it be the communication systems, astronomy, semiconductor devices, automobiles and electronic devices of daily usage, bioelectronic devices, building and architectural design techniques or the computers. India has made unparalleled development in the arena of scientific research and technology during the post-independence period and there are countless possibilities. It is well established in scientific studies that progress of science and technology in India has been quite significant. Innovative methods, products and better quality goods have been developed in the country. India has made fast progress in the frontline areas of science and technology like space research and atomic energy. There is a need to plan and organize in a way so as to be able to harness intellectuals in the right direction and provide it with the right opportunities. Science and technology is used as an effectual instrument for progress and change. It is being brought into the mainstream of economic planning in the sectors of agriculture, industry and services. The country's resources are used to derive the maximum production for the benefit of humanity and improvement in the quality of life.